all of you hope you guys are great and welcome back to yet another video so in the last video we talk about the mutable variables in solidity and we have seen the example that how we can change our state variable with the help of a special keyword called constructor and made and update the state variable in this video we going to read write and update our state variable so whatever we have learned so far is going to be a complete overview of that okay so what i have done so far i have created this uh, file read and write okay so right now I have nothing so let's close this tab so this is what we're going to do in this video we're going to read and write our state variables to write or update a state variable you need to send transaction which we have already discussed that whenever you want to execute your function on ethereum blockchain and when you update your state variable you have to pay gas fee for that okay that's what we have mentioned here but on the other hand when you want to see the state variables value you don't need to pay any transaction that's also i have covered okay so this that's why i have given so still i thought that let's give this comment so you guys can know because i know sometime you guys will forget okay so now let's write the smart contract here we have written a very simple smart contract and inside the smart contract we have taken one state variable which is a unt type and currently it has nothing we haven't assigned any any value to this state variable if i come here and let's come here and let's go and deploy this contract so let's delete the old let's click here and let's deploy we have deployed the contract let's come here here we have the function and currently it's zero so as you can see our state variable is currently zero and when you don't define anything to our state variable it will contain zero there is no concept of null and undefined in solidity okay now let's come to the functions here we have written a very simple function you need to send a transaction to write to a state variable so initially there is there is a zero to our state variable but we have written this functions and what this function is doing it's simply setting the value of our state variable okay so there are three way which you can use it to update your state variable one you can initially define the variable or you can use the special keyword called constructor which we already covered in the last video and you can also do with the help of function a special function so here we have taken this special function which will update the state variable so if i save it and if i come let's delete the old deployed contract and let's come here and here we have here we have the contract okay so right now you can see here we got two things two functions so if i call the function function it has a zero but here we have a second function which is setter and here we can assign any value which we want to assign to our state variable so for example i can type 2234 and simply click on set so our state variable is updated now and if i call num here i have my 234 in the same way no matter how many time you update it's a unt type okay so i have to provide unt no matter how many time you call this function it will get updated but you have to pay gas fee for that for every changes you make in your state variables you have to pay gas fees for that so every time i'm doing any changes as you can see i'm getting deducted from this account i have to pay i'm paying gas fee for that so this is the setter function which you can use it to update your state variable okay so oh, there are three way again i'm telling you there are three way to update your state variable one you can initially define second you can use a special function for doing that or you can use a constructor keyword okay so now let's write the third function so here what we have covered so far we have covered that how we can update our state variable and this time this is the function we going we have written to see the state variable value okay so this is the value we're going to see and that's what this function is doing so it, i've given the name get public keyword and here i have used the view keyword so last time i talked about view and pure so when you want to see the value which you have used as a locally inside the function in such cases you can use view or pure but when you want to see the state variables which you define at the top in such cases you can only use view not pure if i use pure i will get an error as you can see i'll get an error because you can't do that because you want to access the variable which is a state variable and you are using pure so it will throw me an error so i have to use view so i can easily able to access and see the state variable value and here you have to explicitly use this return keyword and you have to define the type so our state variables is a unt type and that's what we have to define if it's a string i can have to write a string if we are using any variable inside our functions we have to use other special keyword like memory so that's what we're going to cover later okay so if i save and if i come here 
and if I try to delete this one let's deploy the contract one more time and here we have our smart contract and here we have three functions so first initially it's going to be the zero because initially we have nothing in our state variable if I call the getter it will have a zero but this time if I call like something like this and if I call this I'll get the 23 23 okay 23 and so let's come here let me show you what I mean so right now we are using this account you have to just keep this thing in mind this thing 006 006 and if I call this like if I try to update my state variables one more time like some okay no let's provide a number if I update this and if I come back here in my account uh, where it is mm. so here it is as you can see right now the balance is get this because I have changed the state variable so I have to pay the gas fee for that so what I will do this time I'm going to call the get functions and get functions so I get the balance and if I come back here as you can see the balance is remains the same because we can use the getter functions to see the value and that will not cost anything but when you do the changes in your state variable you have to pay gas fee for that so hope this uh, this is a very quick refresher for all of you whatever we have learned so far that's all we have covered here so let me show you what we have covered so far so we have learned about the variables state variables and it's a unt type so so we have learned about the state variables that where we can define the state variables how we can change the state variable with how with the help of the functions and how we can see the value of the state variable without paying any gas fee so this is i just wanted to give you a quick refresher of all the things which we have learned and I hope you are following this complete course and understanding every single thing which I try to explain. I will go very slow. Some of the things will seem, some of the things you will find that it's very repetitive, but these are not. You have to understand every single thing because these are the things which are going to act differently a little bit. When you're going to write a big smart contract, you will find that how we're going to use the small differences of the syntax of the program and create a good smart contract. Okay. So still it seems like uh, you are doing the same thing over and over again but it is not because it has to be like this so you guys can understand everything in a very clear way and that's why I'm just going very deep and explaining every single thing that how you can do certain things in certain way okay. So this time we are simply writing or checking the value of our state variable and this is how you can do it. With that said that's it in this video now let's move to the next one.